Okay, first grade, so as I told you, we were gonna take apart your bowl pieces that you made last class. Now, in looking at Picasso's bowls, he actually uses fairly realistic colors. In other words, when you think of a bowl, you're gonna think of browns, blacks, maybe some beige, some white. But I would suggest, and maybe even a little gray or a golden yellow, I would suggest that we stay away from pinks and purples and blues and try to be a little bit more realistic with the color, but have fun with the layering. So I'm gonna take my oil pastel, and again, if you only have crayon, that's okay. But I like the fact that although Picasso created the cubist bowl like we drew earlier, he doesn't get away from what a real bowl looks like. In fact, he celebrates the real bowl. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those earth tones. As you can see here, I put some red brown, some gray, some black. I'm gonna turn it over where these silly characters are for my cereal box, and I'm actually gonna color over them. I'm gonna let some of them show through because I think Picasso would be okay with that. He wouldn't like totally dismiss them and get rid of them, but on the other hand, he wouldn't want them to be the star of the show. So I'm going to use color to hide them a bit, but yet let them come through, like right here and over here. Just let them show up as well. So there, I now have front and back legs. Let's try the next one. Now this is easy again because I'm on the non-colored side. So I can just layer those earth tones and you know, earth tones are usually what we consider to be warm colors. Brown, orange, yellow. Oh, that would be a color I hadn't thought about bringing in some orange maybe. Uh, but right now I just have these colors. And again, I don't mind if a little bit of that cereal shows through on my bowl, but mostly I'm gonna try to calm it down, let it be in the background and really feel like this is a tough bowl. I don't want it to feel too simple. I don't want it to feel too see-through with the uh, color. And then a little more yellow on this. So there are my legs. Here's my body. Now the body of the bowl, I'm probably gonna wanna keep primarily one color, but we'll see. I like the idea where uh, Picasso is really layering, trying different colors. So I'm putting some gray in here. Maybe his tail though will be a really dark black because that reminds me of a bull. Now I'm gonna again go on the other side and I'm not necessarily gonna have the same exact colors I had on the first side. I'm not concerned about that. Again, I don't mind if a little bit of that cereal shows through. I'm gonna color it in and make use of what I have, but I do want that black tail again. I really like that black tail on the other side, so I'm gonna let some of the cereal show through here. So there's my legs, uh, my body for my bowl, and now, of course, we get to the face. Notice how I saved that for last. I really kind of wanted to save that for last. And I'm just taking some paper off my crayon. I think a bull's horns are generally on the white side. So I'm gonna give some realism to that. His face is gonna be brown, dark, dark brown. How do we show that this bull is maybe angry, like he's in a bull fight? We might wanna put some red in there. Maybe I'll bring out a little bit of red, just to show this is an angry bull. He's like, what are you doing charging at me? I'm gonna show you who's boss. Let's color the other side. Ooh, that's got a lot of brown in it already, doesn't it? But I'm gonna darken it up. Again, using my crayons to kind of darken it up. But again, maybe putting some white in the horns the back of the horns, because this is the back of the head. And there we go. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually outline his eyes and darken his eyes to really make them pop, like I did the nostrils. 
Maybe the nostrils even have steam coming out of them because he's an angry bull. Now let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna put, so we get this cord out of the way, we're gonna put our bull back together. And let's see what he looks like now. Oh, here is my bull. Turning him around. I think I'm gonna put these legs in. Actually, I'm gonna make this the front legs. Oh, now he's really got some personality. And I'm gonna make these the back legs. And if you wait just a moment, aha, my bull is now standing. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of my bull and let you see what it looks like finished. And then I can't wait to see your Picasso themed bulls and see how they turned out. Have fun, play with those crayons or oil pastels and show me your finished bull.